Flares are huge explosions on the surface of the sun, throwing light out into the solar system and absolutely baking anything in its path. What would happen if the sun stopped shining and stopped giving us light? The sun is our closest star, our life giver. Its warmth lets us live here on Earth. It powers up the plants, and it's why we can have fun outside in the sun. But have you ever thought about what would happen if the sun just switched off? Would we feel it instantly? I mean, how long could we survive without the sun's rays? How freezing would it be before any folks in chilly places like Russia considered finding a new home elsewhere? In this video, Michio Kaku takes us on a journey into this dark possibility. Why is nobody talking about this? Michio Kaku just announced that the sun is slowing down and could stop spinning. This could cause our life-giving star to stop shining. Let's explore this together and understand the implications. It might not cross your mind at first glance. A stream of light takes a total of eight minutes to undertake the vast journey from our planet Earth to the enormous star that we call the sun. In a single minute, the beam of light can traverse a significant distance, which we use a specific term to describe, a light minute. Picture yourself and your buddy positioned on separate planets. You can still recognize each other due to your remarkably keen eyesight. <laughs> Consider the possibility of an advanced alien civilization observing our planet from a far-off galaxy approximately 65 million light-years away. If they were to employ their sophisticated telescopes, they would be witnessing a moment in our planet's history when the last dinosaurs roamed the Earth before their eventual extinction. There is not a single thing within our universe's observable boundaries that can rival the speed of light. Nothing at all. If the sun were to suddenly go out of existence, we would only become aware of this calamity a full eight minutes after the event. The sun's powerful gravitational pull, which keeps the Earth tethered in its orbit, would cease to exert its influence in less than eight minutes. However, our planet wouldn't immediately feel this change. Earth would maintain its regular orbit for an additional eight minutes. After this brief grace period, widespread panic would undoubtedly ensue with people rushing to dismantle their recently installed solar panels. That's because without the sun's gravity, our planet would begin to travel in a linear path. With the moon unable to reflect sunlight, people residing on the darker side of the planet would remain oblivious to the calamity until the last vestiges of light just vanished. Gradually, the other planets would plunge into darkness one by one as the final shreds of reflected light finally reach our eyes. The only external illumination sources left would be the stars twinkling overhead. A mere fraction of the sky's visible area would be enough to provide this light. Photosynthesis, the process that plants use to produce oxygen, would cease without sunlight. The problem, however, might not be as immediate as we imagine. There would be sufficient oxygen for all living creatures, humans, insects, animals, all of it, to continue breathing normally for another millennium. But in the broader perspective, it could pose a serious issue. The weather would turn bitterly cold. If Earth suddenly lost all sources of heat, it would begin to chill rapidly. Within the span of one week, our planet's average temperature would plummet dangerously close to freezing. Which sounds pretty terrifying, right? Even more so when you consider the fuels that we currently have at our disposal. We could potentially survive without the sun for a handful of months, but by the end of the year, that first year without the sun, temperatures would have dropped so drastically that every surviving human and animal would need to seek refuge deep beneath the Earth's surface. The closer to the center you get, the closer your odds of survival are. If we can't find a way to escape Earth, our only survival is highly uncertain. The vast expanse of oceans, which cover 70% of our planet, would start to freeze over. With the extreme temperatures, the surfaces of the oceans would begin to resemble an enormous ice rink, stretching as far as the eye can see. But remember, that is the beginning of the changes. It is not merely a matter of being cautious due to the fragility of the new ice surfaces, there's more to it. Based on scientific research, we know that liquid water could persist, hidden at the bottom of the oceans for billions of years. The Earth's core, still a blazing hot beneath layers of rock, would prevent the entire planet from becoming a giant ice ball. On the other hand, some creatures would find a way to make this frozen world their playground. It's a tough pill to swallow, but us humans, we would not be among them. Only the smallest of organisms, tiny life forms dwelling in the inky depths of the Mariana Trench might stand a chance if the sun suddenly decided to take a permanent vacation. These little guys don't need the process of photosynthesis to live. They draw the required energy by transforming heat. As long as that liquid water survived, so too would these microscopic life forms. Imagine a scenario where Earth turns into a frozen, lifeless place drifting alone in space for an incredibly long time. It carries with it the last traces of life. But then, by chance, we stumble upon another star and we start circling it, just like we used to orbit the sun. This causes the icy parts of our planet to thaw due to global warming giving the surviving organisms a chance to evolve into more complex life forms. But here's the thing. 
It's so unlikely that we humans would ever evolve again in such a situation. However, fragments of our culture and achievements would still remain. If there were intelligent beings from other planets observing us, they would witness this remarkable change. Losing the sun might not be such a terrible thing after all, especially if you happen to be a tiny microorganism clinging to survival. Ever since the Big Bang sparked the birth of the universe, everything within it has been in constant motion. Stars, planets, moons, asteroids, distant high-energy pulsars, and even the gargantuan black hulks, they all revolve in this cosmic dance. The idea of the sun stopping is a fascinating idea to think about because everything in the universe is always moving. The Earth spins around its center, gracefully orbiting the sun, which of itself follows a path around the middle of our galaxy, while the universe keeps expanding. The scientist, Michio Kaku, has given us helpful details about how fast the sun is spinning. With this info, researchers everywhere can now study the sun more closely. They can try to guess when and how it might stop spinning. This is really important because everything, even our galaxy, does not last forever. It had a start and it will have an end. So, knowing things like how fast the sun spins is real useful. This new detail gives scientists something new to explore. It also reminds us that everything in the universe, even our galaxy, once again is not permanent. It won't last forever. At the moment, the sun's rate of spin is relatively slow. It's not solid like Earth, but it's made of gaseous substance known as plasma which causes different regions of the sun to rotate at varying speeds. Some parts complete a full rotation in 30 days, while others do so much quicker. This characteristic is not unique to the sun. Everything in the universe spins due to the chain reaction triggered by the Big Bang, and our sun is no exception, despite being the largest object in our solar system. It's real weird to think that if the sun's ceaseless spinning suddenly, well, ceased, the rest of the universe might carry on none the wiser. The solar system's future would be dictated by numerous other factors. From our earthly perspective, the sun's journey around the center of our galaxy is arguably more significant than its rotation. Even if it stopped spinning, as long as it continued its galactic orbit, we would probably be okay. Maybe we'd even be safer than we are now. The remarkable effects of a calming sun can be seen from our unique vantage point here on Earth through a significant drop in the activity of solar flares. Now, what are the solar flares? Well, they're sudden bright eruptions of energy on the sun's surface often let loose when concentrated pockets of solar energy create sunspots, brilliant and highly active regions of the sun's exterior. The intriguing mechanism that casts these flares into space is not the sun's differential rotation. Think of it as different parts of the sun spinning at various speeds. If this rotation were to lessen or cease, the trajectories of these solar flares would become much more predictable, like an arrow shot from a steadier bow. Let's dive into a real interesting part of this topic. You know how the sun sometimes has darker spots called sunspots? Well, these spots can burst and cause what we call a solar flare. This solar flare can then lead to solar storms. Now, let's try to understand how big these storms can be. Picture this. Have you ever heard or maybe seen of uh, big natural disasters on Earth like a volcano erupting or an earthquake? You probably have if you're an adult that has lived on this planet long enough. The power of these solar storms can be compared to those. They are real strong and they can cause a lot of trouble. Now, who gets affected by these solar storms? It's us, humans. These solar storms can become really strong. When that happens, they mess things up on Earth like our power systems, and that could pose big problems to our survival. Now, let's think about what could happen if our sun stopped spinning. One outcome could be a decrease in solar winds. Solar winds are like a steady breeze of tiny particles coming from the sun and moving out into space. If these winds decreased, the risk from solar flares could go down, but it's not really as simple as turning a switch off. This change could also change the makeup of our solar system. For example, there's something called the heliopause. This is like a line in space that marks the edge of the sun's influence. If the solar winds decreased, this line could change, which could change the whole setup of our solar system. At the same time, a less active sun could go unnoticed for a rather profound reason. If the sun ever stopped the spin, it would retain its mass. This means that it would continue to be the gravitational anchor of our solar system ensuring that the orbits of the planets and the asteroids around it remain relatively unaffected, if not entirely unaffected. Did you know that our sun doesn't just spin on its own axis, but it also orbits the center of our Milky Way galaxy? A cosmic equilibrium is maintained even at a staggering distance of about 25,000 light years from the galaxy's core. It's an epic journey around the galaxy that the sun completes once every 250 million years, moving at a breakneck speed of about 500,000 miles per hour. If, for some reason, this motion were to come to a standstill, the consequences would be so unimaginable that we wouldn't likely be here to even discuss them. Now, consider the possibility of the sun suddenly going dark and stopping its spin. 
This could cause immediate alterations to the spin of our planet, possibly even stopping it. Such an event, however, would have consequences that extend far beyond Earth's spin. It could theoretically have the power to catapult our entire solar system into the vast emptiness of deep space, as we would continue to drift away from our star. Its life-giving light and warmth would no longer reach us. The Earth would plunge into darkness, turning it into a frozen, inhospitable sphere of ice. Our orbits would now be determined by the galactic core, not the Sun. A shift that would be disastrous for any life form dependent on a constant supply of energy. But let us assume for a moment that the Sun's gravity remained potent enough to hold the Earth and other planets in their orbits, even after it stopped spinning. What would be the next steps? The shock from this event could significantly alter the configuration of our solar system. Even if the Sun were able to keep its gravitational clasp on us tight, we might find ourselves displaced from the habitable zone, the region around a star in which conditions might just be right to support life. That means that even if we manage to survive the initial turmoil, our life on Earth could be drastically different. However, our solar system's position would be unparalleled, firmly rooted in the cosmos, even as the universe spins in uncontrolled chaos. In all that disorder, our planet and the other objects in space it's connected to wouldn't stay in place for very long. They would move away from their current position in the universe. Instead, it would get caught up in a cosmic adventure with the mission of being the heart of our galaxy, the Sagittarius A star. This cosmic body is not just an ordinary star, it's our galaxy's central supermassive black hole. An entity of such massive proportions that it could pull our entire solar system within. Now that might seem like an unsettling thought, especially when you consider the fact that even though this black hole is a staggering 25,000 light years away, its mass is millions of times that of our sun. If the planets and the stars of our solar system were to cease their cosmic dance, cease orbiting our sun, we could find ourselves drawn into the pull of the Sagittarius A star. To put that into perspective, this is not something that we would be adding to our immediate concerns list. If we were to travel at a maximum speed limit of the universe, that is, light itself, which starts around at a breathtaking speed of 186,000 miles per second, it would still take us an unbelievable 25,000 years to reach Sagittarius A. If we were to embark on this journey at speeds that we can physically achieve today, that would take us millions of years. The human race, despite its capacity for survival and adaptation, would probably not last long enough to see the end of this journey. Even if we miraculously sidestepped all extinction events, we would probably die long before seeing our solar system stretch out and disintegrate like celestial spaghetti. The sun, our primary source of life, might not endure either, swelling into a red giant wiping out our beloved Earth far before we even reach the supermassive black hole. But uh, hold on, there is, a, you know, there's a silver lining to this cosmic tale, right? There's gotta be, there's gotta be. Might there be a method, a plan, a strategy to avert this potentially devastating future? Maybe our journey, despite being doomed from the start, might not be as bleak as it seems. After all, the cosmic panorama, the tapestry of stars and galaxies above us, would be in constant motion, continuously shifting and changing. Over thousands of years, our view of the cosmos would alter dramatically and astronomers would play a vital role in documenting these changes. We would only become aware of these shifts through their vigilant observations. And on the bright side, during our voyage to the Milky Way, we'd get to witness incredible cosmic phenomena. Newborn stars, mysterious black holes, possibly even alien planets, some of which might even support life. So, can we consider this cataclysmic journey to the galaxy's core as a unique once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Could this be the motivation we need to leave our familiar world behind and venture on to the next one? It would be more critical than ever to predict the future with accuracy if it became evident that the Earth's time was running out. As our world tumbled and spun throughout space, we would need to find other suitable planets, calculate our closest approaches to them, and devise strategies to reach them while courageously persisting in the face of nearly unsurmountable, insurmountable, undeniable challenges. Suppose we were to recognize our stopping sun and our precarious position within the galaxy in time. Well, in that case, the most sensible course of action might be to prepare large generational ships and begin a mass exodus. Yep, seen a couple of shows like that. However, convincing the world's population wouldn't be an easy task. Initially, it would seem as if nothing major is happening. What significance could a shuttle shift in the position of stars really have? We would only realize the danger when we first saw the subtle changes in the sky. We would see that the sun has stopped moving in its usual round path around the center of the galaxy and it was actually heading straight for a massive black hole. If we had a chance to escape into space, it would be smart to take it, even if it doesn't work out. However, the question we should ask today from our comfortable homes on good old planet Earth 
is a lot simpler. If the sun suddenly stopped its rotation, life could go on without skipping a beat. It's even possible that the Earth would hardly notice. But if the sun were to lose its orbit and be catapulted towards impending doom, well, then we'd likely find ourselves on that same catastrophic journey. For now, though, we can take comfort in the fact that the sun is expected to burn brightly for another 5 billion years, and we've never been wrong before, so... While our cosmic tale might not have been the happiest ending, we do have plenty of time to write the chapters in between. If the sun were to stop shining, where do you think would be the greatest challenge humanity would face in their quest for survival? Is it the environment, or is it each other? Because my bet would be both. Share your thoughts in the comment section down below, like, and subscribe for more.